guys. Um, it's probably been the most difficult week of my life. I'm sure you're all aware of now that my son passed away last Sunday in the morning of the 20th of March. My son died of cancer. I'd mentioned in previous videos that I was caring for a sick relative. Well, that sick close relative was my son. And he'd first got diagnosed last June 2021. Perfectly healthy and he had a sore throat one day and it got worse. And it got to the point where he started to be sick so he went to the hospital and did certain tests and i can't go into a lot of details i don't have the energy and yeah they found the cancer and they told us there and then that it was inoperable in stage four and that it had spread so we knew back then what a bad diagnosis it was but it was like I've been in denial and he had chemo and that seemed to work really well and he got his health back and his life back and initially the oncologist had told me after he'd finished his first few cycles of chemo if he stayed healthy he could probably have another cycle if he stayed healthy he could probably have another cycle this June or July and up until January, February of this year, he was healthy. But towards the end of Feb, things just took a very, very drastic turn for the worst. And yeah, we lost him on the 20th of March. And even though we had the diagnosis and we knew it was hard and it was a shock. And We've all been a mess, the whole family, just this last week. We're just taking one day at a time. Just sticking together and being together and just getting through each day. The worst bit is sorting out all the legal stuff and all the logistics and organising stuff. And that is hard to get through. But I really want to thank everybody because I made a Facebook post telling people what had happened and I got many, many, many comments and I did read them all, but I just did not have the energy or I just couldn't reply to any of them. It's like I couldn't form words, speaking words, and I couldn't even type written words without just collapsing in a crying heap. But I do appreciate all the comments that people have left on my video and on my Facebook page and on my actual Facebook profile. And also I really, really, really from the very bottom of my heart want to thank everybody who's donated to Adam's GoFundMe for his funeral. And I hated making a GoFundMe to ask for funeral money. I really, really did. It just felt like I was just being, I don't know, greedy or tacky and everything. But I'm just stuck. I was just stuck. And the fact that people have just donated towards that to help me out, it's taken such a financial load off me. And I don't have the words for how grateful I am. So thank you. I mean, that's pretty much all I can say. Thank you. I'm off work right now because I just can't function normally. The doctors sign me off work. And I'm not really making videos right now. That's just not even in my mind. I probably will in the future. I don't know. I just wanted to come here and just talk to people and thank people. And I am still here. 
and I just want to just get through each day and hopefully each day will be a little bit easier. I don't know what else to do. Mother's Day wasn't as hard as I thought it would be because my daughter came round, I'd asked her to come round and she brought a housemate round and I made myself as busy as I could throughout the day and I cooked a massive dinner with all the every trimming I could think of because none of us had been eating. So yeah, I just spent the day cooking and I made a massive, massive dinner and my daughter bought me some lovely flowers. Flowers that are in a special planter that go in the garden, so I guess you'd call them plants and not flowers. So I put that in the garden and that looks really nice and we just put on a wholesome Disney movie. And whilst it was a hard day to get through, it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. And I'm still having a hard time accepting what's happened because my son lived at home and whilst he was healthy in other ways he did have epilepsy so I was sort of semi-carer to him he didn't need full-time care or anything but he had meds for his epilepsy and stuff so he lived at home with me so we were and we were really 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 super close it's like every day we would talk or walk somewhere or do somewhere and I just miss him so much I just miss the sound of his voice I just miss when he would come and sit down with me and we'd watch stupid stuff on the TV like old episodes of The Chase and classic Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and we'd just answer the questions between us and I just miss his presence and I miss him waking me up at night when he's playing online games with his friends and stuff like that. The house seems so quiet, it's just so hard. But I am carrying on and I am getting there and I am just going through each day daily so I don't want people to worry. And again, I just want to thank everybody that's left me kind words. And everybody that's helped and Adam's go fund me. So yeah, that's about all the talking I can do for today. I've just got to go into town now and I've got to sort bank stuff out and just sort out paying the deposit for it. this funeral service. So yeah, sorry for the sad videos I don't want my videos to always be sad but that's all I've got for now so thank you for being there for me and thank you for watching and thank you for listening and not sure when I'll be talking to you guys again so I'm just going to say goodbye for now bye